Okay, so we'll do like one more. We said, you know, no boyfriends, no girlfriends. All right, so we got we got that one done. A lot of people are going to be like, why would you tell them that? Like, don't lie to the kids and tell them that you didn't waste many years of your life chasing after people, which happened to be the wrong person, but you were still chasing people. To say it was just the wrong person, meaning you're willing to fall for the same stupid thing again. You're still willing to try that stupid stuff. Okay. You can spend 20 years in a relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife. And it can still crash and end and burn to the ground. Now, you're in your 40s and you gave up the best years of your life to someone who did not really care about you. Because... If they really even cared about themselves spiritually, they would have not have had time for you in the first place. I'm too busy to be your boyfriend. What the is a boyfriend anyway? I'm not ready to be anybody's husband or father. Therefore... Being somebody's boyfriend is a liability to me at that point. Liability meaning a, it's a hazard. It's a danger. Caution. What's it called? Pelagro, right? Pelagro? Is it Pelagro? Danger. My mom hit me with a hanger. Fell on the floor. She hit me right there. Right? Another phone call. Scam likely declined again. So, kids, man, this one, this one is crime. Crime only has two ways that it ends jail or, you know, death through aggressive violence. Crime, criminal activity, bad things, criminal activity. Dear kids, I would really advise you stay away from that because this government wants to throw you in jail. Don't let them lie to you. They want to throw you in jail. They want you to be an animal. They want you out there acting stupid, being an animal, so they can lock you up and enslave you. All right? It's that simple. If you fall into that trap, that's what it was. Right? That was your destiny. How about that? If you do not pursue your destiny, then whatever happens to you is your destiny. Right? That would actually be your fate. If you do not pursue your destiny, your fate will be different. Your fate is your death. If you die before you achieve your destiny, that's one scenario, one situation. If you die after achieving your destiny, that's a different fate. The fate was different. The fate. Fate. Did you do it? Destiny. What you were supposed to do. Fate. What happened? If you do not pursue your destiny, your fate will be indescribable. Pursue your destiny. Or meet the opposite fate of your destiny. You can meet your fate after you pursue your destiny. Or you can meet it after not doing so. What is destiny, dad? 
is what you might ask your dad or whoever's watching this with you. It's the purpose God sent you to earth to do. You were sent down here as a soldier for God to fight on his side of this spiritual warfare in God's army. And if you refuse, you basically were on the side of the devil. Where's the in-between? I am a general in God's army. I am very well taken care of by the universe. You know? They made sure I'm good. Because I'm good. I'm a general of God's army. The angels up there, they know me. They know me. Whoever's up there, they're waiting on me to do something big. They all know me up there. They're smiling down on me. I'm trying so hard. With, with the issues that I have, I'm trying really hard with, with, with my own issues that I have in, inside of my head. You know, I've been through a lot of really, really weird situations, man. And I just want to share what I've learned and hopefully it can help you. And you're young enough for me to actually be able to say things that can go inside of your brain and crystallize over time and become a part of your internal constitution. Constitution in this term meaning what you stand for inside. Hopefully my words can help crystallize what you stand for inside. You know? So I wish you all the best life.